Okay, super, super quick tutorial for you today. Last week, I put out a video about all the trackers and in it, I put a smiley face into a 3D scene with a drop shadow. And so I thought I'd go into a little bit more detail here and show you how to put 2D elements into a 3D scene. So let's, uh, let's, let's do that. All right, so we're here in the Fusion page. I've got this footage that I've already tracked with the camera tracker. I've already created all of my little tracking nodes. And what I wanna do is place this little smiley face here on top of or within this 3D scene. But if I bring it into my node graph and I try and connect it to my Merge 3D node, you'll see I can't do it. It won't connect. So how do we get this 2D element into this 3D scene? Well, to do that, we're going to have to use something called an image plane. So let's keep our media into selected. This is our smiley face. And to make this easier, let's go ahead and look at two camera monitors. Right now I've got my Merge 3D in this monitor right here. So let's go ahead and we'll select media into, we'll add an image plane and we'll connect that to Merge 3D. There you go, we've got our image here. Now all we have to do is go into the transform tab of our image plane 3D and we can move it around. We can maybe bring it farther away from the camera a little bit, maybe bring it over and there you go. You can see it starting to show up. There it is right there. There is our little smiley face and we can bring up the scale if we want, maybe change the rotation a little bit and move it up just a little bit. And there you go. We've added a 2D element into our 3D scene. Now in between this media in two node and this image plane 3D, we can basically do whatever we want. So let's say I wanted to add a drop shadow to make it look just a little bit more 3D. I can just hit shift space. We'll search for drop. We'll find drop shadow and we'll add it on to there. And you see, we got a little drop shadow. We can bring up the strength a little bit. And there you go. We've got a little drop shadow. We could maybe do a color correction if we want. So there we go, we've got a color corrector. Let's go ahead and make sure we do pre-divide pulse hoots, multiply. And we can go ahead and color correct. Maybe bring up our saturation a little bit. And there you go. Quick, easy, and it works. Now, if you wanna learn more about the camera tracker and how to turn your footage into a 3D scene, you can check out this video right here. And until next time, don't forget to go out and make stuff. Thanks for watching.